There was such an anointing and power at Cane Ridge and at Azusa Street and at the at the Walsh Revival that the Bible says that when they would even come near, they would be convicted of their sins and be slain in the Spirit. Charles Finney one time was preaching in New York City. And they said that people were passing out, Brother Marty, on the ships before they even came into the harbor because of the anointing power and conviction power of God that came on individuals. I don't want a little bit. I want a double portion. I want God give us boldness. God give us desire. God make us hungry to see, God, what you can do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want revival. I want to be on fire for God. Charles Wesley said, I set myself on fire and people came from miles around to watch me burn. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's miracles happening all over across the world. In Africa, Heidi Baker's team have now gone way past 100, oh, 200 resurrections of people that died. They don't even count them anymore unless they've been dead for over 24 hours. I've heard reports of arms. I read it about it at Azusa Street, but I've heard reports of, in places like India and Africa of arms growing back that were gone. I told you not long ago about a minister named James Maloney who went to India and how someone came up, all they had was a hand coming out of their shoulder. He called a lady up that earlier in the day who had asked him not to do that. But he called her up to pray. And she was so scared she closed her eyes and she said in the name of Jesus. And she said before she even finished, that arm grew out. The full length. God is still doing things. God is still doing things. I want a taste. I want some more of that watermelon. I want some more. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's all that would just a stop together up around the altar this morning. Hallelujah. Let's pray for one another. Let's encourage one another. Let's, let's all start having a, a, a Christmas party. Okay? Hallelujah. Let's get around the Christmas tree and let's begin to unwrap the gifts that we've had hidden for years. Praise God. You know why I believe that Elijah received a double portion? And let me speak to the parents here. You can't give what you don't have. Elijah had to receive what Elijah had so that he could give what Elijah had. Some, I, I really, as, as Pastor Gary was ministering, I just thought, you know what? There are some people in here who are tired of fighting the same battle. Amen. Tired of struggling financially. Amen. Tired of, of knowing that God is real but not seeing the things that Pastor Gary was talking about. Tired of hearing... I'm tired of hearing about the signs and the wonders. I'm tired of hearing about the miracles. I want to see them. Amen. I want to see them for myself. Not because I don't believe, but because I believe I'm in line to be in the lineage of Jesus Christ and do the same things that He did. Jesus said this of you, you'll do the same works that I have done and even greater. I'm tired of hearing about it over in Africa. Come on. I'm tired of hearing about it over in Kentucky. I'm tired of hearing about it over there. I want to hear about it in my own family. My own, you know, I, I'd love to see people in this town set free, but, but I've got kids I want to see set free more. Some of you right now have children you want to see set free and empowered with the love of Jesus Christ. Some of you have health issues you've been dealing with for years that God wants to break through. That's what the double portion is for, is it to give you the, the healing and the encouragement so that you can turn around and then hand it off. Come on. It isn't just, it isn't just so that you can go around and be a minister and a healer and, and a preacher and a prophet. It's so that you can walk in your breakthrough. Because what good is it if you're seeing everybody else get theirs and you're not getting yours? I'm not trying to preach selfish because I know Paul healed people and he didn't get his own healing. God had a plan there. And we don't know exactly what that was. But I believe we're in the days where God wants to come to the house of the yes. Lord first. Yes. Come on, he, he wants to minister to you first. Yes. Because you're not of much value to Him going out if you don't fully believe what you're going to go out and share. Yes, Come on, we, we're, we talk about a lot, but it is time that we see it. So everybody stand in this, in this house this morning. If you can stand, stand. 
We're going to believe for a double portion this morning so you can receive first. So that you can have the faith. Whatever it is that you're wanting, whatever it is that you have need of, maybe it's a financial breakthrough. Maybe it's a health issue you've been wrestling with and you're tired of fighting that devil that you've been fighting for decades. Maybe it's you struggling with with really believing that God is who He said He is. Let's this morning believe that as we come to this altar. Come on. We get a double portion so that we can believe. So that we can come out of it. So that we can go out in too. Amen. Come on. As Lisa says, come on. Let's just praise the Lord here. Let's just minister. Because I believe when we come before the King, we bring a gift and an offering. And that is our worship. But I believe God responds. Listen, I believe this. I believe the anointing of God is activated through worship. Amen. I believe the anointing of God, your worship is like a key that goes in the slot. And when you worship God, we're not doing it to manipulate God. We're doing it to follow the ordained Word of God. We want to follow the steps of God. So let's just worship and minister here. And, and if you have anything you want to pray for, we're just going to, you come up here. Maybe there will be a prophetic word. Maybe there will be a healing take place. We're believing that something's going to happen because God has ordained this to be the day that you get your breakthrough. So come on, let's, let's worship here. Yes.